Fix. It's true. It keeps raining, baby. So crystalline in my head. Gonna watch from the balcony. Sing backwards and weep. Prologue. Police. At first, his warning didn't register. My mind fixated on the pinprick ending of the morning's routine. The relief from what at this point was only a dull, aching pain. Police, the African cab driver whispered again in a thick accent while motioning with a roll of the eyes and a quick hunch of his shoulders to look in the rearview mirror, where sure enough, the three young guys following in the van behind looked like undercover cops, eager to beat someone's ass, maybe mine. My six-foot-four cross-dressing drug buddy St. Louis Simon and I had just scored a bag of dope and a bag of coke, both of which I had thrown somewhat carelessly in my unbuttoned shirt pocket. I had a sack of new rigs stuffed into the front pocket of my tight pants. As I hadn't expected to encounter the authorities today, now I felt totally exposed. Another ten blocks across Seattle's Capitol Hill and it was obvious we were indeed being followed. As the car pulled up just down the street from my building, I hopped out and started walking up the sidewalk, trying my best to act naturally.